Welcome to your Money Monday! Are you stuck? Just not getting where you want to be? Hey, I'm Rich Motts. Welcome to Money Monday, session 246. Here's something that will impact your business, which will in turn impact your life. The number one thing I see with people who are stuck, not productive, just not getting where they want to be. I mean, some of you are good and you want greatness, but you're just not getting there. Some of you are great and you want excellence, but you're just not getting there. Well, there's a sticking point, and that sticking point is judgment versus curiosity. In working with the hundreds of realtors that I work with, I notice this. High performers work in a place of curiosity with the mindset of a beginner. What I mean by that is they're not judging what someone else has done, someone that has achieved at a very high level. Not judging someone who is producing at a very high level, they come with curiosity they come with humility, they come with vulnerability and transparency. The three attributes of someone that wants to grow is humility, vulnerability, and transparency. That's humility, vulnerability, and transparency. Versus other people who are stuck do not do this, okay? The people who are stuck, they're always looking for an excuse or a reason why someone did good. I mean, they live in a world of judgment. I mean, we all struggle with judgment. I mean, when someone says to me, I'm not judgmental, I say, okay, perfect. Everyone has it to some degree. But if you really wanna hone in on it, and you really wanna grow, then and go to the next level from where you are right now. Ask yourself, do you approach high performers? Do you approach the people at the level that you wanna be with, with judgment or curiosity? The number two trait for those people that are stuck, non-productive, if you will, is they play the perception game. They play the big fish in a little pond game. They make sure they position themselves in rooms where they are never uncomfortable. I mean, they are never uncomfortable. They want to look good. They want to feel good. They want to play the part, but they go home empty. There's an internal battle going on. They desire more but their fear of how they are perceived, their desire to fit in, it gets in the way. That's one of the biggest barriers for growth, okay? That's one of the biggest barriers for taking action. So number one is curiosity. High performers live in curiosity, constant humility, vulnerability, and transparency. Whereas those who are stuck are judgmental and they feel that high producer, that they took a shortcut or got a trick to become that high producer. So here's a question to ask a high producer that is living their life at the level that you want to be and doing business at the level that you want to be. Ask them what they overcame. Don't ask them how they got there because you'll hear the same old story. You'll hear, I was consistent and this and that. I mean, consistency is important. But what's really important to understand is what they overcame. I think you'll find something that you'll relate to with them if you ask them what they overcame. I mean, you wanna find something that you can relate to and humanize it for yourself. Again, number two, that desire to fit in and play the part is toxic to people because it keeps people from going into rooms where they are uncomfortable. I mean, it's pretty simple stuff. Here's the third one about people who are stuck, non-productive, and their business is not growing. They're experiencing the things that they want in their personal life as a result of business not producing, okay? They're not experiencing the things that they want in their personal life as a result of their business not producing. Here's what the problem is. They are cheap. They are not investing in the growth, the learning, not putting time in to grow themselves. I mean, invest in yourself. So number one, seek out the people that are smarter than you, more successful than you, and approach them with curiosity. Ask them what they overcame. Come with that humility, that vulnerability, and that transparency. Number two, don't worry about how you look. Focus on being better. Don't worry about being the big fish in a little pond. Focus 
in a space of collective genius. Don't be seeking str strategies, tactics, and skill sets from, from someone that's really good, but then they lack that growth on a personal side. Find someone that is, desires, and working on themselves. Well, at the same time, they're looking to grow their business, okay? Always keep in mind that the whole ultimate part of growing your business is to impact other people's lives, okay? If you grow your business, you create opportunities for other people to work for you, and you impact your community. It requires being around really good people that have a desire to grow, both personally and professionally, okay? So number one, curiosity versus judgment. Number two, be that little fish in the big pond. Get uncomfortable. Number three, stop being cheap and invest in yourself, okay? Apply this to your relationship, your fitness, your nutrition, and your business. I hope you liked this video. The most important thing for you to do is take action. So if you have any questions about getting unstuck and getting productive, reach out to me. I'm Rich Motz, and I will see you next Monday Monday. Thanks so much, everyone.